good morning and welcome back to another video Sam Shut Farming if you haven't already please could you subscribe it just helps my little channel grow going on my statistics or analysis or whatever it is it shows that 85% of viewers haven't subscribed now you don't have to but it'd be lovely if you could just um, just put YouTube pushes me out a bit more uh, that's all and you also get a notification of my videos every time I upload one so that'll be that's fun yeah you get a ping Sam Shut Farming's uploaded a video so right let's go see what we're doing today just getting the mower on uh, getting prepared for our first cut at home so he's just gonna See what it needs, a bit of TLC, a bit of greasing, a few blades up. Great, we'll just give her a swill off and then he can see what he's doing. That's my job. Not gonna lie, that was quite satisfying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our good old reliable pressure washer. That's it. Never lets you down. Old is gold. So we've got one of the heifers carving. A uh, bit of a disaster. The vet's just landed from Kirby Stephen and uh, Oliver's gone up with her. So, uh, not sure the outcome of that one. So, the vet came last night to a cow that was calving one of them heifers. Obviously, these heifers are in calf to that bull we've been pulling, so we weren't too sure. The first one obviously has got a calf on it now because it was a massive cow. One's calved itself. There's one left to carve, and this one was on carving. So all of her rung the vet. We tried to carve it, couldn't get it out. So we rung the vet. She's come. Yep, got the calf out. Yep, fantastic, brilliant. Yeah, uh, struggle, big struggle. There it is. Dead as a nit. Quite a big calf as well. Yeah. But that's what well, that's what happens in farming. You just don't know where there's livestock, there's dead stock. And we've got another dead calf which isn't which isn't good. We're not happy about it, no. But that's just the way it goes. So the cow she said yeah, the cow should get up. I don't see why not. Took her advice, tried to prop it up. Yeah. Come to it this morning. Dead. Stone cold dead. Tried to sit her up. We moved her away a little bit. And uh, come to it this morning and it's dead. So I don't know what's gone on there. Don't know what's happened. Yeah, don't know what to say really. That's just life, isn't it? Farming, you take your risks. The, I think the obvious solution is we've used the wrong bull, but he, we didn't know, you see. So, yeah, we know for next year, don't we? Anyway, that's life. These things happen. We've just got to try and replace her now. So we need another, don't we? We need another. That's one less calf to sell. So we need another. Oliver's never had a, well, we've never had a dead cow since we've been here. And Oliver's never had a dead cow for 10 years, apparently. Last dead cow he had was a 10 years ago. So he's pretty done, but who's to know? It's not his fault, it's not my fault. So it's just the way it is.
That's my cow and calf out. She's taking it nicely. Go on, pet. You'll do better outside. Come on, Arthur. My little calf's called Arthur. <clears throat> She's doing a lot better anyway. That's it. In you go. Go with the rest. At least you survived. Hmm. What are you playing now? Tig. Tig? What's happened? Yeah. Can we ride it? No, no, you cannot ride it, Mabel, no. Oh, no so it had a baby calf, but uh, it got stuck. So we got the vet to it and um, she calved it, but the cow died the day after. What? Oh my goodness, look at it. But where there's livestock, there's dead stock. Well, yeah, it's not good, but yeah. we've never had a dead cow before. Yeah. So this is, is this the first time you've seen a dead cow? Yeah. yeah. No. Like I no. Come this way. It's dead. <laughs> Nancy. Come this I, way. I believe really it's cow. It's a big cow. Oh, that's my cow. Is that your cow? Yeah. Should we buy you another one? Yeah. Yeah. That one's dead. It's dead. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right, Jimmy. <laughs> it died, yeah, but it's all right. Um, someone will take it away. Yeah. Yeah. And put it in the bin. Yeah, in the bin. Yeah. You put it in the bin wash. Yeah. Bin Yeah. Because that can't fit in the bin. No, it can't fit in the bin, can it? I don't know where they take them. Um, you can touch it if you want. Mommy, you touch it. Um, I don't really want to touch it because it's dead. Anyway, should we go and play now? That's its tail, yeah. It doesn't stink because it only died this morning. This morning it died, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it just died. But it's all right. It's all right. We'll get you a new one. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you. Let's go play. <laughs> well, you can have a new cow. Looks like Peter's uh, tied his bags up. That's his department because we wanted to burn it. So. So I don't know where he's taking it or what he's doing, but I'll find out. Well, as you saw, Reed has just been for a cow and calf. Yeah. Guess how much? £98.97 pence to collect the cow. And £10 something to collect the calf. So that's, what, 100 quid? Well, more. 90, 110 pound. Yeah, damn it. So we've had a bit of a disaster. Cow and cat, cow dead, calf dead, and this is the third thing. This eight comes in threes. Just have a look at this clip. That's the consequences. That dog, sheep. Killed that sheep completely. Killed it. Killed the sheep. Is he alright? I couldn't give a fuck about your dog. Oh, no. Oh my god, I'm oh, so sorry. Come here! Come here! Taylor, come! He's... Come here! Come here now! Come here now! Come! Taylor, come! You bad boy! <sighs> Get 
Did you see that? Disgusting. That dog has just killed Stone Cold Dead, one of our sheep. Chased it and chased it, it's rived it. Oh, it's never done it before. Yeah, well, dogs are bred to hunt, aren't they? You know what I mean? Right, so this road goes through the farmyard, which is annoying, but it does. It's a public highway. Goes right through over the fell. You can slightly see the track. The track where we're gathered, it goes right over the fell. Holiday cottage is down there. They've come for a week off. Fair enough, yeah, lovely. Yeah. This is why you have to keep dogs on a lead. It, uh, I'm going to show you because it's reality. This is what happens to sheep dogs. Some chase them and let them go. This has killed it. Didn't have a chance with it. It's disgusting. I'll show you. Look, rived it to pieces. It's had a go at its neck. Cut holes in its neck. It's ripped its face up. It's just disgusting. We shouldn't have to go through this. <clears throat> Farming's hard enough without your stock dying for holiday mecca's dogs. No good at all. Oliver saw some disturbance on the fell. He went down. He said he's lost his dog. He couldn't find it, so he was looking on fell. And Oliver saw it in the river. Oh, you know, what it costs to keep sheep, what it costs to make a living off farming, is hard enough without this happening. It's raising two lambs. Now there's two orphan lambs that aren't going to do any good. You just don't need it. And people don't abide by the countryside code, like the rules, like dogs on a lead, wherever you are. Even if you walk in a hill, keep it on a lead. Everywhere you go, keep them on a lead. Don't trust them, because most dogs are bred to hunt, you know. Ugh, no good. Poor thing. Didn't stand a chance. Terrible behaviour. Makes you sick. Nah. Keep your dogs on a lead. These things happen, it, but dog chasing and dog attacks is happening more and more and more this last year or two it's it, they're just they're out of control and it affects us farmers drastically it really does if oliver had a gun he would have shot it like he really would have but it's just not good it's not good when it's happening all over and you can't catch the culprit usually they go off they run away they catch the dog and they disappear we were lucky he was there and we caught it in action others aren't lucky and they chase the livestock, they kill them and they've gone. You don't know who's done it. So we were lucky on that occasion, but not lucky. That's that. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you could like, share, subscribe, that it really would be fantastic if you could. See if I can get to 5k by the end of the month. Let's see. Let's, let's have a target. Let's hit a target. Right. I'll love and leave you and I'll see you for the next one. I don't know if you can hear that, but it might be a clue for the next video. Bye-bye now.